wall squats. Get your ball, take it over to a clear wall, or you can use the back of a door. If you use the back of a door, make absolutely sure that the door is closed and latched. You do not want to get caught by surprise or get hurt with this. It's probably better to use a wall if you can, but the door will work. Pick up your ball, take it to the wall, and place the ball between your back and the wall so that the, the ball is going to be in the small of your back. You're going to walk your feet out in front of you as far as you need to to be able to create a 90 degree angle with your legs when you so you're going to sit down and that ball is going to roll between your back and the wall it's a great way to support yourself while you're doing a squat it's a little awkward at first sometimes but you just work at it and work the ball until you get it right so walk your feet out you want your knees to be in a 90 degree angle. So that means that your knee and your shin and your ankle are all going to be in a straight line. And then you're going to have a straight line between your knee and your hip joint. So you sit down. It's like you're sitting in a chair, but you're not sitting in a chair. And you're pressing into the ball, which is pressing into the wall. And you roll up and down the the wall and you tighten your glutes as you press up press up you know tighten your glutes and press into your heels and just roll up and down the ball if this is too hard for you you can get into that sitting position as low as feels good to you but that's not really beyond that 90 degree angle and just hold that position you may need to adjust the location of the ball where it hits you on your back. You're going to have to work with it until you get it so that it feels right for you. It's a great way to do squats. It, it, it strengthens all of the muscles in your legs and your butt.